I want to you all one more beautiful time. I hope you all are doing wonderful out there. Chapter number 2, video number 5 in grade 10 science and this chapter number 2 is talking about motion in a straight line as per the Sri Lankan government to school syllabus. This lesson we will talk about displacement. In our previous lesson we talk about acceleration and deceleration didn't we we exactly found out when the velocity is given with the time to find out acceleration or deceleration now this is another one it's about displacement let's get into the subject displacement what exactly is displacement when we are putting that displacement to an equation it comes as displacement equals to mean velocity multiplied by time so what is displacement displacement is mean velocity multiplied by time now mean velocity is calculated in this way initial velocity plus final velocity divided by time initial velocity plus final velocity displacement yes to point it by time now what exactly happened in this equation we will find out that they are talking about displacement okay so here the displacement became initial velocity plus final velocity displacement became initial yes initial velocity plus final velocity did you see that one yes now that is displacement so when we want to take mean velocity from an equation if you know initial velocity and final velocity and the time you can get the mean velocity so on that line up we have a beautiful question over here that we want to find out the displacement let's understand that one a body that starts from rest that mean it is start from zero meters per second yes is subject to a uniform acceleration now uniform acceleration is a very important point that you want to remember every time and it's moving for 6 second after which it acquires velocity of 12 meters per second so the initial velocity is 0 and the last final velocity is 12 meters per second and it is moving for 6 second now you want to find out the displacement since the acceleration is uniform when they are telling uniform acceleration we can find the mean velocity by dividing the sum of the initial and final velocity by 2 as when they are talking about uniform velocity once again i am telling when they are telling uniform velocity the mean velocity you have to find out 0 plus 12 divided by 2 that's why that's because they're telling uniform acceleration then we can find like this displacement we want to find out the displacement right and you want to you know how to find the mean velocity and time is given so let's put that one into the sum in this equation mean velocity divided by 2 that's because uniform acceleration 0 given 12 given divided by 2 and 6 second multiplied by 6 second that says displacement we have 36 meter in this equation very simple and easy isn't it why we divide the, this by 2 that's because it is uniform acceleration remember that one now let's see this one a body is starting from rest here also it is zero accelerates for 4 second mhm and acquires a velocity of 12 meters per second of oh, fine so you have one set of thing over here then after that there after it moves at a constant velocity of 12 meters per second for another 4 second and ultimately comes to the rest after decelerating for 2 second voila it goes like this 
uniform acceleration and then after that it is going in a uniform a very same velocity and then it is coming to the rest you see that one it is going like this and then it is moving the same speed or same acceleration i'm sorry velocity yes and then it is coming to the rest now calculating the acceleration during the first four second the first one they are talking about is you want to find out in the first four second the first four second a body starts from the rest right let's understand that one right okay put like acceleration is always equals to final velocity minus initial velocity you remember that we did learn this one in our previous session final velocity in the first four second is 12 you know about it and initial velocity is zero and for how long four second so let's put that one into some yellow acceleration during the first four second 12 minus 0 divided by 4 second and the answer is 3 meters per second how easy it is now let's understand the second question find the deceleration during the last two second in the last two second you want to find out the deceleration so to find out the deceleration or slowing down when it is starting to the deceleration it is 12 right it's same as it is you see this final velocity it is coming to zero and the initial velocity it moving to 12 because after it's going 12 it is coming to the rest final two second here let's put that one into ex equation also zero minus 12 divided by two second and minus six meters per second 0 minus 12 is equal to minus 12 divided by 2 m s minus 1 this is s so when we are doing that one 6 m s minus 1 and this second will come up and then it will become 2 that is what they did so minus 6 meters per second as it is it is known as what deceleration now the third question what is the displacement of the body during the 10 second right first four second second four second and third second second two seconds that's right they're to asking to find out the total displacement to find out each three steps are running here in each steps we'll find out the displacement well we know displacement is always equals to mean velocity multiplied by time in the first four second it is going with the uniform acceleration right for that reason displacement during first four second is starting with zero ending at 12 that is right divided by 2y because it is uniform acceleration and multiplied by four second so we found out for the first four second 24 meter displacement in the second instance displacement during next four second uniform velocity it is always 12 that's because <laughs> it, there is nothing it start at 12 and end at 12 for that reason 12 multiplied by 4 it is 48 and the last one we want to find out displacement during last two second mean velocity that is right initial velocity is 12 final one is 0 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 second 12 meter so we found out the first one is 24 the second one displacement is 48 third one is about 12 so simply you have to plus 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 here it is those total displacement in 10 second 24 plus 48 plus 12 that says 84 meters how easy it is we found out how to find out the displacement with these equations so in each instances in this particular equation we found out the acceleration we know how to find out the acceleration and also we found out the displacement also yes the displacement also so when we are finding the displacement you want to divide that one to three sex because in the first one it is going in a different way the velocity was different in the second instance the dis 
velocity was constant it is not changing and the third one it is a deceleration therefore we found out the displacement in three steps and we equal it we sum it that's all for the session till i meet you again in another session bye bye and take care of yourself